Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of exterior lighting uh, in V-Ray. Uh, basically uh, what I am using is, uh, the, uh, I will not tell you how to uh, model the, uh, how basically I have uh, taken uh, this model with my previous tutorial, uh, that was a night uh, light setting. So uh, I am taking same thing and I am continuing with the day uh, light setting. Uh, so let's get started. Now I'll go in perspective first. Light is here. Now I go press them on keyboard that is material. I'll take this material and uh, click on get material. V ray sky double click and uh, I'll say specific sun node specific sun node I'll say click and you can link this light by clicking over here and uh, by this uh, we link all those things with this material uh, settings so I can say tuberity will be 4 intensity will be 0 0.01 to check this thing you can say double click and check the horizon how it looks so uh, 2 will be much more brighter and uh, 3 will be get some uh, sunset haziness uh, in the scene as of if you increase uh, this value we will get those so uh, basically our scene will be a day so appropriate value will be 3 and the uh, size multiplier I will be going to increase will by 3 and then uh, we can play with the intensity as of the requirement now I'll press C and I'll just check my scene how it's going to improve although I can go forward and I can add the SGRI but in this step you should able to know how we are improving so that in your exercise you can uh, able to get the checkpoints that how we have to uh, stop and render it and we can improve it so I'll just pause my video and I'll, I'll show you the uh, render so uh, this was the render and uh, basically uh, to for this output uh, just check it uh, your light intensity multiplier should be 0 0.01 and uh, of course uh, some uh, haziness is uh, coming too much so I'll increase my tuberity to 2 uh, uh, so and second thing uh, I will add one envo environment uh, basically environment plane so it will show some reflection on, on this uh, glass and uh, we'll add SGRI on our uh, environments so I'll I'll go to top view I'll extrude it Ray material. Click. I'll take bitmap. We'll go and add UVW map. Check this planner. We'll 
like this. I'll click and I'll go to object properties and say I don't want to receive shadow and cast shadow so it will not obstruct the light now I'll go to my setting render settings in that go to V-Ray environment uh, basically uh, here we want to add uh, SGRI um, maps so I'll click on here I'll say get HDRI so V-Ray HDRI V-Ray HDRI and browse for V-Ray HDRI say open and uh, say spherical and for seats the doesn't uh, look good and you can't see what's what's on the SGRI so I'll say 0 0.1 so we can uh, work it out on this basis and we can uh, rotate the map also as per uh, the requirement 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 so you can see the sun actually zero point zero eight it's too much zero point zero five three swine and uh, same I will drag it to yeah click on this map and yeah so it will change the look and feel and of course it will illuminate uh, the scene also so now I'll just pause my video and I'll see the what is the difference between previous render and now so the results are not so satisfying uh, just uh, we want to increase more intensity of uh, the sun and uh, just Make it down. I'll go to material palette also and it's GRI. Let it be some around this way because we want some kind of uh, illumination. And uh, so let it be 2 0.02. .02. Now I'll again pause my video and I'll render it. This is how uh, the render is appearing and um, still I'm not still satisfied with the results. Uh, some uh, small tweaks we have to do. Uh, slightly I'll go downwards and the uh, size multiplier will be some around 3 and I'll again go to camera view and this time the overall multiplier that will be a 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.021 and I'll increase <coughs> the rotational to see 90 and I'll go to say 0 0.5 and uh, I can uh, add a background color say light blue so it will give a nice tint to it and of course we can sort it out in Photoshop so so uh, the thing is now uh, I'll hit the render with a final setting because somehow it's coming uh, up to the mark we can say 
and uh, we'll head towards the final setting render setting so I'll go my render setup and uh, I'll say it's fine I'll say anti-aliasing and color mapping will exponential no problem and indirect illumination I'll say medium and in light cache I'll say 800 now you can increase it to 1500 but it's now it's fine I'll go to setting now I'll say 0 0.01 and I'll say 1 or else I can 0 0.005 will be a fine but it will take too long to render 0 0.0 0.01 and fine it's uh, okay and I'll hit the render now I'll pause my video and one more silly thing uh, uh, I have uh, left it out the texture of the uh, window and uh, which material I have to see it material number one okay and here we go I'll pause my video and uh, I'll show you the render so this is our the render final render and rest of the work we'll do in Photoshop so uh, if you like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you have any comments if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know so I can really make for you so thanks for watching my tutorial meet you in next part